All right, hey everyone, here we are. Hole number one. Tory Pines. Been seeing this one a bunch. And I only ever see one pin on this one for this tour. I'm going to go ahead and just extend this Mojave out there. So, you know, I'm thinking Mojave or um, Vanquish on this hole every time. Um, and it really just depends on what we see with the wind. If it's more of a headwind, I'm definitely going to want to try to get this out here farther. Um, if it's a tailwind or a sidewind, kind of either or. We just want to make sure, as you've been seeing, that I stay in the Bigfoot range. Which we're plenty in the Bigfoot range. And what, what you'll see is if we have the ability to hold this. And I've shown you guys a couple times now that we've gotten really aggressive on this and almost been able to get it. So that's one of the main reasons but you do want to use these power extension balls. Make sure that you do stay in the range. And I'm thinking just a little bit less than four. And there's a specific part of the shadow there that I was just kind of pulling to. Kind of in the 3-7 range. <clears throat> Looks like I'm just a tad light. But it might take this hill. Just not enough. I know it, I know it needs to land to the right a little bit, as you can see, but I was just a little bit too much. I thought I was I, I thought it was light just when I saw it come in. I've never seen it break that much. But with that being said, you know, we still gave it a pretty good effort. Um, all things considered, it's just a shame that we weren't able to to just play just a you know one tenth of a ring more. <clears throat> Just a little bit more of a pull. And if I wasn't running out of time, maybe I would have tightened that up. And here's the hole that I never want to see. And this is how you can easily go on losing streaks here. You've seen this hole. So we need to be careful with this one that we don't backspin it down the hill. Another thing I need to make sure with this wind that we do hit the green. So we do need to make sure that this hits the green. So that's one of the first keys that I have to tell you here is make sure on this wind that it hits the green. Otherwise, we have to change the spin completely. We'll never be able to play this spin if this doesn't hit the green. But it looks like we're okay. It's a little bit more than three rings. It really just comes down to a perfect ball. And again, you cannot hit this fringe here. That's a big no-no. It changes my spin significantly. It looks like it just backspun too much. And the only reason it backspun like that is the headwind. So you got to keep in mind, if you, as long as you don't get that headwind, you're good. If, if, if that was a sidewind, it would have just stuck up there. So I needed to just be just a tad bit deeper. But just keep in mind that that's really the only wind that, that I'm, you know, or, or similar winds. Let's just say the, the winds that I like to see are between 8 and 10 o'clock or 2 and 4 o'clock. As long as the wind's somewhere in those two zones... I definitely feel I can beat the computer generated shots, the bots that some of you may call them. But basically all that is, is you're just playing somebody because the game can't give you a live opponent right now because there's just not enough people in Tour 8. So that's one of the main reasons that I'm kind of, you know, teaching you guys how to play Tour 8. The more guys that get in here, the more active games that we can have. So keep that in mind. And you know, that's one of the main reasons to progress into this tour and you can see that we can make a lot of money in this tour significantly amount I don't, I don't remember what i started with here today but we've just been kind of building a bankroll in, in a very short period of time half hour to an hour but uh good luck there and i'll see you guys on the next one